Something I'm very interested in is the ways in which the government wants to stick its pudgy little fingers into interactive experiences such as games for kids. In a previous video, I looked at the US government's Department of Justice funding research into how games can be used to reduce male violence. Here, we're going to look at something that has already been done by the Canadian government in order to help kids unlearn racism. Truly a noble goal, the government stepping in to fix our broken racist children. If you have any objection, you must surely be a massive racist. So, dear viewer, a question. How racist are you? I think this thing is an abomination, so I must be extremely racist. Wow. Seriously? Ever wondered why? Let's find out. Oh, fantastic. I've always wanted to find out why I'm so racist. Every day, we're exposed to all sorts of stereotypes and one-sided information. Stuff like history, the news, movies, and even those around us have all shaped our attitudes towards other people. Nice list, but I think there's something missing. How about government-funded web applications designed to be used by children at school with teachers and at home with their parents? But then again, maybe this doesn't count as something that pushes one-sided information. It's there to help you unlearn racism. Do you want your kids to be racist? No? Then trust this. Come on. This is purely about racism. Just because it's government-funded doesn't mean they're going to use the anti-racism as a guise under which to push other useful ideology. It's true. You do have freedom of speech in Canada but within reason. Okay, they're just describing Canadian law here. I'm not sure how this will help a kid unlearn racism, but at least they're not presenting the image that the state will have an iron grip on how you express yourself. Any kind of racist insult could get you into big trouble. Sure, this kind of thing might scare a kid into not expressing themselves for fear of making a faux pas, but can you really put a price on obedience? What has Marcus just unlearned? We can't say whatever we want. Right, Marcus? Let's be serious. This is something funded by the Canadian government meant to be used in schools. Its lesson is, in order to unlearn racism, you have to unlearn the idea. As a whole, just unlearn this idea entirely, that you can say what you want. I have to give them some credit though. This point being accompanied by the image of a child's brain being scooped out is quite fitting. This doesn't teach anti-racism. This teaches something else entirely, with anti-racism as the excuse. My disagreement with Canada's laws aside, this presumes a child that believes they can say whatever they want will say something racist. Instead of teaching people to get along so that they wouldn't want to say something like that to another person in the first place, it teaches them, first and foremost, to fear the law. Instead of encouraging positive self-expression, this government-funded application puts a hand around their throat and warns them what will happen if the wrong sound comes out of them. And perhaps worst of all, it's not upfront about where it comes from. You have to get through the whole thing and then scroll down all the way to the bottom to see that it's a government-funded thing. It appears as a cartoon giving friendly life advice, but really, it's just an appealing mask for people who have a vested interest in controlling how children behave. To me, that's creepy as all fuck. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.